say, excuse the chaos in the background, see all the cups and things that need washing up. <laughs> That's how we rock and roll here, unfortunately, because I need a dishwasher. I need this kitchen sorting out. Um, and I'm just waiting on these adaptions to be done. So, fingers crossed, when all the council teams go back into the offices, they'll be like, oh yeah, she needs a kitchen doing. Let's get on with it now. Um, let's give her a date. Oh, God, my legs. Everything hurts. Right, I have to chop things on my lap. I've got a little chopping board here. And it's perfect for my, my knees. So I'm going to use that. I have the brainwave just um, in my pan. I'm going to do an all-day breakfast today. Um, I've got some mushrooms that are frozen and chopped. I just thought, you know what, I'm sick of throwing mushrooms away. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one to think this, because it's like, they're the first things in your fridge to go mouldy. You know, you might have only just bought them yesterday, and already they're like, furred up and brown all over them and stuff. It's disgusting. All right, I'm going to add in the pan my leftover of what I had for my tea a few days ago, which is the um, I had sausage and mash. My care people did the peeling, chopping, <laughs> and yeah. Oh god, cards! Don't stop knocking everything off. You see, I've got so many things that are in my bedroom all stacked up, and the cats are like, "Yay, let's come and knock it all over." So it's really getting my stress levels really up. Um, so yeah, anyway, these are on special at the minute because it's for January. I think something like £2.25 instead of £3 something. So I just thought I'll get them in. I think I've just got them on a two for a five or a deal. Um, so there we are. So you've got pea protein in there and there's all sorts of other bits and pieces. You've got beetroot and mace. These are quite spicy, they're quite peppery, um, so I don't mind them, you know. There's so many really good vegan sausages that are out there. My favourite is the Marks and Spencer's Plump Bangers. I love them, they're great. Um, yeah, I've got them in the pan, so I'll just chuck them in. I've got a few other bits and pieces that I'm going to bung in as well. I've got some tomatoes. I think I got a bit carried away with ordering them. Hang on. Let me get one out. And I'm going to have some of this as well. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> and a bit of that. And a bit of the other. Right. So. Here we go. So I've got some tofu. Bear with me. I'm trying to swing myself back again. Um, this cat's annoying me, he's jumping around all over the place. <laughs> can hear the sound from the uh, the washing machine, so the, the sound from, there he is, you can see him now. There, him, him over there, the ginger. <laughs> Every time the pipes make a noise, he's like, <gasps> from the washing machine, what's going on in there? So anyway, I've got some tofu, not bought this in ages. I thought, you know what? Sometimes with your taste buds, when you go vegan, um, you don't necessarily like everything. And you've got to give your taste buds time to adapt. It's like, you know, you go for the vegan cheeses. They're not going to be everybody's cup of tea straight away. They certainly weren't mine. Um, but I have had like, um, before I did go vegan, I did used to have Violife cheese, not knowing that it was um, dairy-free cheese. I never used to like the taste of cow's milk. Oh God, I'm using the bin. <laughs> she can stand on it. <laughs> I'll have to put it there then, the stalk. So, anyhow. Let me just slice these tomatoes up a bit. It's not very often I do any food cooking as such. 
as in like cooking from scratch anything because I'm just useless at it with my hands and that and everything is all up there so I can't get to stuff which is really really annoying in itself anyway so I've got this part this chopping board but if you squeeze it the sides apparently lift but with my hands as they are I can't do it so I'll just leave it as it is but they're in the pan the tomatoes let's move me the sausages about a bit so they don't get burnt I have got some levy bacon but I'm going to leave that for another day that was done as a substitute to the lardons this is the Bury um, Black Pudding Company it's vegan approved there it is lush, I love it it's good until the April 2024 it's really very really tasty, I love it really really nice there's no nasties in there or anything it's just gorgeous and you don't need an awful lot it does last a while but it's great i really like it that's what it looks like i don't know if you can see probably not but anyway i love it people are like vegan black pudding what does that contain then you know Oh, right, let me just put that out of the way. Cut what I wanted off. I'm only going to use that much. I'm going to take off the plastic, obviously. It's gone now. He'll be back as soon as the washing machine starts making noises in the sink. He'll be back. My hands are terrible. I'm really, really sore. They're swollen. They just have no grip to them. Mm. and these knives are fab because they're at an angle for your hands with arthritis so there's less pressure in your wrists and stuff they're great, love them right, so another cap down there right, let me put this up here then put up in lemon as well Sometimes I throw these in the oven, it's just nice and easy just to chuck it on a tray and just let it get on with it. Um, put this back for another day. I love it, it's great. Um, so yeah, the tofu company. This is like a well, I'm using it as an egg substitute. I never used to like eggs. I hated them. The smell used to make me gag. What I'm going to do is put a little hole in the... Without taking my fingers off. Just make a little hole and then you can just drain it. Reach out. I want to over. That's that done. I want to put some toast on as well, but I might do some uh, what do you call it? Fried bread. Oh, I could, could couldn't I? I've not done that in ages. As soon as I've got some oil. The tomatoes are sticking a bit to the pan. I haven't got any oil in there, but I did have some water from the mushrooms. Right, so tofu is really, really good. It's full of uh, good stuff in there. It's made from soya beans, and then you've got sea salt and nigari um, and tofu. So, there we are. You can freeze it. Uh, but it may change the texture. Freeze as soon as possible after purchasing and use within a month. And do not refreeze. And you can do all sorts. There's a few tips and tricks on the back of the packaging now. There's also a, uh, a cookbook that you can buy from their website. So 
But I might try that. See what's on it and see if there's anything that I can do that's easy peasy. When my kitchen's been done, it's gonna really help me out no end. You know, I'll be able to get to things, I'll be able to put my slow cooker on, I'll be able to get um, myself some bits and bobs to help make life easier. I want to get an air fryer oven. Um, I hate all the plastic around this tofu. It makes it very difficult for me to get it out of the packaging. Right, let's do it. Yeah, I'm going to do some fried bread. It's been a long time. I know it's not very healthy, but hey, what the heck. <laughs> it's fine. It's been a long time since I've eaten this stuff. I just fell out of love with it. You know, it's like anything. Sometimes you can think, oh yeah, I like that. And then you get bored with it really quickly. And I think that was me. Because um, I do like the smoked one. It's the others I'm not so keen on. And I did try them. I know you can be really creative. And you can make loads and loads of things with tofu. And quiches and all sorts. But it's just me. I'm not very creative at all. Um, especially with my kitchen being so as it is. I'm going let me chuck a bit of water in. You're going to have to move because I can't get into anything. I need just a bit of water just to stop it from sticking. There we go. <clears throat> Some tomatoes. There we go. We're back. Oh, I've got an itch. My ears are itching. I've got arthritis in my jaw as well. So uh, that doesn't help matters. It makes my ears itch like crazy. Yeah, right, let's move this sausages over. Come on, I usually do these in the oven. I should have done them in the oven there. Really. There we go. There we go, we're looking alright. Right. Let's do it. So I just cut this up into cubes. I used to just chuck it in the air fryer. I used to have one of those big tea fowl things that you could get, you know, that took up like half of your kitchen. <laughs> they were big um, and they were lovely uh, it was really really good I used to make like mainly chips in it but it was really helpful right I like the handle on this pan on this uh, chopping board sorry I can't get my words out right I'm just going to leave that for a minute somebody used it um, in a recipe not too long ago, they did an all day breakfast, brought a, like a, a bun thing, and it just looked really nice, and tofu was obviously the egg substitute, and I was like, oh, I used to like that. So, yeah, I'm gonna give it a bash, because your taste buds do alter. Let me just check one thing a minute before I make this. Um, 16. I've got some of this stuff as well, but I'm going to use that another day. It's avocado with a splash of lime. It's already basically taken out of the shell with the avocado and squares and made all easy for you. That's it. That's perfect. I'm glad I've got this. Oh, if I do that, it's sort of not really does anything. But hey, B&M, two quid. Um, really helpful for me. Um, now then, I'm going to use that little pan which I used yesterday for the um, juicy marbles. They are amazing by the way. They're really, really nice. <coughs> I don't know if my little plates are going to cope with all this, but hey, they look like, make me look like I'm eating <laughs> for like three people or something. There we go. Let's do a quick, both hands holding it. There we go. How's it looking? It's like a one pan breakfast. Pretty good. Right then, I'm going to get my toast all together. Bit of fried bread. Not done fried bread for ages. Ooh. Ooh, lovely. Right, let's put this there. I'm going to get a bit of makeup out of my eyeball and then I'm going to start. Right, I need. I always get the mistake of which ring 
There we go, that one. There we go. Right then. Yeah, I've not done fried bread for ages. I used to do it in my air fryer actually, with a few squirts of, uh, what's it called? That spray one cow stuff, whatever it's called. I used to like that. And it used to work really well. I used to do Weight Watchers, so it was like, they used to come out with all sorts of little ideas, you know, making pizzas out of uh, pita breads and, for he, you know, wraps, I used to do them. <laughs> like wafer, wafer thin. <laughs> it's funny. Back in the day, as you do. Right, cut it into triangles, makes it look cuter on the plate. Have I got any more? I hope I'm not boring you too much with all my gassing as I'm doing this. Um, yeah. I'm not very good at this, I'm not good at hey, what the heck. For work, I'm sure. See, all your mock meats and stuff don't take as long to cook. Um, don't feel that you've got a, a certain cremator. It just does it really, really quick. Right. Excited. So, I know, I don't get out much. Clearly. But yeah, this chopping board's wicked. I like it. I bought it for my son as a joke. I said, I got you a present because we lost his chopping board. Well, he couldn't find his chopping board and it's white and it blends in with the tiles and it was put right over against the tiles. So we didn't see it. Um, I've got carers, I've got cleaners that come and, you know, I've got all sorts of people that come along. And then they put things in the most stupid of places and you can't find anything. It's like you're looking for a pan. I mean, one lot that came, they put all my saucepans in the oven. I was like, what? Yeah, it was crazy. It was funny. Open the oven and there's like saucepans staring at you. You think, cupboard is the most obvious thing, but no, in the oven itself. Um, right, I need to get some of this out, I think, because it's gonna burn us. got a really horrible throat at the minute. The jewels of the weather turning. Yesterday I turned the oven, uh, the oven, the heating off. <laughs> and then as soon as I was turning it off, I was putting it back on again because it was really cold. So, tofu doesn't take long to cook at all. I think my pan's looking a bit poorly because everything's sticking and not used to being put in, um, on the plate together. So yeah, it doesn't look very appealing, I will say. I think next time I'm just gonna chuck it all in the oven again. But hey, never mind. What a mess. Right. So, I'm going to put that on there, turn that one off. What are you doing? <coughs> Cats, I can hear you. Causing mayhem. So, I know it doesn't look appealing at all, but... Mmm. That's my tofu. Smoked tofu. That's nice. Hmm. Hold on a minute, let me put a little bit more oil maybe in the pan. Oh, 
little bit. Don't need a lot to the point of like where Now we're working. Right. Mm. The smoked tofu is really, really good. There we are. put this in the, in the sink and soak it's gone a bit uh, <laughs> a bit um, stuck to the non-stick pan I've gone a bit crazy. It's gone a bit. It's all right though. It's all right. Fried bread. Yeah, I just have to turn it back over when for presentation purposes for the camera. It's a bit charred on one side, but it's not burnt. It's just a bit, a bit rustic. <laughs> Shabby chic food. But yeah, I've really fallen in love with the smoked tofu again. What time is it on? Don't even know what the time it is. I watch Dancing on Ice. I swear I'm coming down with a cold. It's all here, it might just be my sinuses. It's all on my chest. It's horrible. All right, I'm going to turn this off because I'm sure it's ready. Pretty much. It'll do. All right, then. So, there we are. French. I keep saying French toast. It's not French toast, it's fried bread. Never mind. Right. Anyway. Mm. Right then. That's it, that's me done. That's my all day brunch. So, there we are. Right, I can't. Sort of, I can see it. Right, catch you later. Bye.